It's the VC Show. What's up? I'm Vince Carter, and my podcast, The VC Show, is coming back. Season two of The VC Show is going to be bigger and better than ever. Every week during the NBA season, I'll give you my real insights and opinions on the league. Vince Sanity reigns supreme. Subscribe to the pod and listen to The VC Show with me, Vince Carter, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's The VC Show. Hey, I'm Melissa Fumero. And I'm Stephanie Beatriz. You may know us from television. Nine, nine. And now we're here with our very own podcast, More Better with Stephanie and Melissa. Join us as we take on topics like listening to yourself, the challenge of self-care, and making friends as an adult. We're going to share our struggles. We're going to speak to experts. And we're going to share everything we learn with you. Listen to More Better with Stephanie and Melissa on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Rachel Martin. You probably know how interview podcasts with famous people usually go, right? There's a host, a guest, and a light Q&A. On NPR's new podcast, Wild Card, we have ripped up the typical script. It's part existential deep dive and part game show. I ask actors, artists, and comedians to play a game using a special deck of cards to ask some of life's biggest questions. Listen to NPR's Wild Card on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Amy here, and do you hear that? Do you hear that? Jackie, Jackie's sitting here with me. What do you hear, Jackie? Reindeer feet. Christmas is coming. (laughs) All right, Amy and Jackie here, and Jackie is delivering this year's gift guide. She has so many great things to share with us, so many tips and tricks and things that, quite honestly, you're probably going to want to buy for yourself because I'm already looking at some of the stuff. I'm like, okay, check. But I guess you could add it to your list for people to get for you. But today is special because we do have a live studio audience. Again, clap from the, yep. Woo, yeah. Caitlin's in here with us and we have some Prosecco and peppermint bark. We are in the holiday <laughs> spirit. Tis the season. And to get us fully in the spirit, we have a gift guide giveaway tied into this episode. This giveaway is valued at well over $500. I haven't done the math, but just know that well over that. You're definitely going to want to win it. I mean, just to rattle off some of the things in the giveaway, Biopel snail serum, eye patches, Zio skincare products, Root House coffee, MB Constructor hat, Olive and June nail polish, Mix Hers, Emergency Confetti, Four Things Tote, hair oil, eye cream, Nutrafol for hair growth, a Marlow pillow, a Kitsch satin pillowcase to go on the pillow, other awesome Kitsch products. I mean, there's definitely things I'm forgetting, but you can check the show notes of this episode, which is also known as the description of the episode, uh, to see all that we're giving away. You can get links there to the gift ideas that we're sharing and also any discount codes, which later we'll go over how you can win this giveaway. So listen for that. But I guess I'll start now, or I should have done it at the beginning, Jackie, but maybe just I'll share who you are in my life. Uh, we work together at iHeart. Jackie handles artist relations for our company. She is very good at her job, and she's also a great gift finder of unique gifts at reasonable prices, and she's hooking us up with her finds. Not just that. I know that through this conversation, just because of how Jackie is, naturally, there's going to be style and fashion tips and makeup tips and home tips, shopping tips, all the tips. And one of those tips is for people that are trying to track down an item that they've seen in the wild. And maybe they're curious if it's on Amazon, but they have no clue what the item is. But there's a way to find it, right? Yeah. If you open your Amazon app, you'll see that search bar at the top. And there's a small little icon, a square icon on the far right of that search bar that looks like a little camera. And if you click on that camera, there's a bar that says shot my photo. You click on that and then it'll populate all the photos in your phone. So as long as you have a screenshot of or a physical photo of whatever it is that you were searching for, maybe it was sold out, maybe you just didn't get, you know, when you ask somebody where something's from and they're like, I don't know, I bought it. Well, get a picture of it and upload it to Amazon and whether it's a sweater or a shoe or whatever. Like Um, you saw these sparkly laces or something, studded laces that someone had on? Yes. I was at a concert over the weekend and I saw a girl that had combat boots and she had swapped out the black laces 
for these sparkly silver rhinestone laces. And I thought, well, those are so cute. And those could jazz up something for the holidays, a tennis shoe, a combat boot, whatever it might be. So I just search rhinestone shoelaces on Amazon and probably 30 options. And they were like 10 bucks. Yeah. Super cheap. Great stocking stuffer. I love a good stocking stuffer. And Olive and June nail polish is another good one for teens and moms to throw in their stockings. Kitsch creaseless hair clips. I use those all of the time. Those would look super cute as a stocking stuffer or just even as a gift. Like their satin pillowcases, legit, hands down. I mean, that could even be a stocking stuffer for some people, but that would be just a great gift in general. That's it. And one of the discount codes that I have is for Kitsch. So the link in the show notes will automatically apply the discount if you click that and shop there. Or if you just go to mykitsch.com and then enter Amy Brown 15, that'll give a discount. And satin pillowcases cause less hair breakage. Like there's beauty benefits to it. There's less frizz happening. I can wake up in the morning. My hair is pretty much ready to go. If I go to bed with it, like if I did my hair the day before, I wake up and it's done again the next day. It helps retain moisture in your skin. It's like when you're putting all the products on your face, it doesn't just absorb like it would into a cotton pillowcase. Which speaking of beauty type things, Jackie, you're going to tell us about a makeup gift, a Dibs contour highlight stick. It's two in one. And you told me it's a game changer. Dibs is easily one of my best finds of 2023. I followed the founder. It was one of those things that just, whether it was TikTok or Instagram, she just kind of kept coming up on my feed. And I am no makeup expert. I, <laughs> I kind of just like stick with the basics and, and try to present myself as best I can in this world. And Ease is the best for me. So to have something that's dual ended and it's a cream and it blends really nicely and it can, you can use the contour on your eyelids. You can use the blush like on your lips for a little lip tint. It's multi-purpose, and I, I think it's fantastic. Well, I think a pro tip too is with the, the contour stick is using that as eyeshadow because it's one less thing you have to worry about if you're traveling or you're out and about or you're going from day to night mm-hmm. like Jackie does from her day job to her, <laughs> her, night, her night job. I put a little bit of the contour stick on my finger, and then I rub my finger across my eye and kind of create like a little, I don't know, I take it out into my temple. A little wing. Think, yeah, yeah. Gives a little edge, but it just livens you up instantly. I feel like she has a variety of products. Dibs itself stands for Desert Island Beauty Staples, I believe, which means they're making products that are going to make your list of like, you know, people ask, what are you going to bring to a desert island? Mascara, chapstick, etc. So this is trying to save one of those coveted spots of what do you need on a desert island to like feel your best. And if you're a makeup girly, you probably already have a lot of brushes that you can use to blend in these products. I use my fingers. Yeah, they blend incredibly. They're honestly so easy to blend, but they do have this dual-ended brush. One side blends creams and the other side applies powders. I love it. So the dib stick I think would be great for a white elephant or a secret Santa, something with your girlfriends, because the shades are honestly complimentary where it could work for a variety of skin tones. So you don't have to necessarily know who it's going to for it to be a sought after gift. Sought after gift makes me think of Biopel, the snail serum. Everyone might be getting it for themselves or they're asking for it because it's just so good. The 10 day treatment would especially be good. And it's worth noting that I found out that the code happy does still work at biopel.com. If you want to gift yourself or someone else, the Biopel snail serum or the radiance eye cream or their new eye patches, happy gets you 25% off anything at biopel.com. Now the Tensage 40 is the most popular snail treatment, but they have a lot of great things. And again, linked in the show notes, so easy to find. All right, Jackie, what's up next from you? Next up, I would say a trucker hat. They're back with a vengeance. And there's so many cute variations, whether it's your favorite country artist or our friend Camille, who has NB Goods, we both have the wild rodeo hats. I wear it all the time. Fun fact, she was on the episode of my sister's HGTV show, Correct. Building Roots, that I was on. She was the A storyline with her husband, and I was the B line, but that's who that is. Camille is amazing. She used to work in the music industry, and now she has her own business, 
and she's killing it. It's killing amazing. It. Her trucker hats are so cute. Her sweatshirts, she's got crew socks. So even that's just a great place to go grab a gift or two or three or four. Like you probably could check off multiple people on your list from NB Goods. Correct. And obviously Camille's hats are so cute, but I didn't know that those types of hats were back with a vengeance. I've decided that I'm, regardless of whether they fall out of cute fashion, they're always going to be a staple for me. I've, I've decided this. Like they, they were popular back in the day with Von Dutch and Paris Hilton. And then they kind of went out of the picture for a minute and now they're back and it's forever for me. I'm committed. Okay. So yeah, it's a great place to get a trucker hat. And that could be for a woman, but obviously a lot of guys wear those hats too. Totally. So these are unisex. Unisex. Okay. Correct. Okay. What's next? Another great one is a boy smells candle, which is a certain brand. You may have seen it because Casey Musgraves did a collaboration with them a couple years ago. Her variety is called Slow Burn and it is one of the most fantastic smelling candles. Like if I could afford to have those burning in my house at any given moment of the day, 365 days a year, that would be my signature scent easily. So, yeah. The smell is so good. Okay. What about the cute little evening bag gift idea that you have for us? This specific one is a faux leather in like a beige color, which can go with browns. It can go with navies. It can go with black. So super multi-purpose in terms of what it will mesh with. And it has a cute little rhinestone handle. And it's a perfect little evening bag, especially for holiday parties and things that are coming up for the season. Okay, I'm looking at a picture of it and it is so cute. What are your thoughts on mixed metals? Like right now you have on a gorgeous like gold necklace, mm -hmm. but then say you had like a purse that had silver on it or a belt that had silver. Is that okay? I'm good with it. I think the trick to mixing metals is to not go too far in one direction with one and then just throw in something silver. I think it's better to have it like 50-50 if you're going to mix gold and silver. Like I wouldn't wear all gold jewelry and then a silver bag. Okay. Yeah. I definitely appreciate that advice because, you know, belts are really back in style now. So I feel like there's metal on belts and then there's metal on certain purses and handbags. And then you've got your jewelry and I just need to make sure that I've got an even amount of both if I'm mixing and matching because also the gold star espoir necklace that we both have and wear, it, it gets a little tricky. I just got a silver watch, but now I think I've got it handled. I'll just make sure I have an even amount, which the star necklace is another great idea. Shop espoir.com is where people can find that. ESPWA, espoir means hope in Haitian Creole and the necklace gives back to Haiti. So that's a win-win gift. I'll also link it to make that easy. But Jackie, rattle off some other ideas you have for us. All of these can be found on Amazon and I'm going to go through them quickly because honestly, most of them need no detailed explanation. But the Britney memoir, the book everyone's talking about. So good. Great gift, audiobook, hardcover, whatever you think is better for the audience of friends that you're visiting with. But it just, it seems to be a crowd pleaser. Stony Clover dupe of the nylon chenille bags that help you keep organized when you're traveling. One can have all your skincare, one can have your makeup, one can have various other toiletries, but I love them. I think they're super cute and helps keep somebody organized when they're on the road. And you can put patches on it too? They come with the patches. So they say face, hair, skin, stuff, and okay. you can divide your items appropriately. Perfect. Those are really, really cute. Yeah. Love them. I also have on here a candle warmer. I don't know about y'all, but the number of candles we have at our home that have just a little bit left that we can't quite get to because the wick's not getting there anymore, but there's plenty of good smelly goodness still happening in that candle. Candle warmer is a great way to utilize those candles like from start to finish to really get your money's worth. And even if you have a full candle, candle warmers will burn them more efficiently so you get more use out of the wax. Wow. Like they don't they don't burn okay. them as fast as the flame does, but you still get the same amount of aroma. I never would have thought of that. And then two more evening handbags. One is just like a fun party handbag. It is a Cult Gaia dupe. Cult Gaia is a very expensive brand. Love what they're doing, but I'd rather get it for $30. This one is silver, but they come in a variety of colors. And then lastly, I think this is one of my favorite gifts to get honestly anybody on your list that's a female or someone that has belongings that they bring to 
concerts or sporting events, but a super cute, clear handbag because I think we're just moving in the direction of unless your bag is very, very tiny, you're not going to be able to bring your big YSL or your big Louis Vuitton to a Morgan Wallen show or a Tennessee Titans game anymore. I think we're moving in a direction of clear bags only at larger events. So might as well get a really cute one that you can. I know. And then you'll already have it. Right. And then you're good to go. Right. When I went to George Strait the summer, I didn't have a clear bag and it was at Titan Stadium and I was ordering one on Amazon last minute (laughs) to try to get. And I ordered, it was cute, cute enough, Mm -hmm. but I know that your option is way cuter. And so I'd rather plan ahead and have that one. This one's glitzy. It can fit your phone. It can fit your wallet, your lip gloss, whatever it is. It, it holds a nice amount of things, but it's clear. But it also has like just a little snazzy element to Some it. character. Yeah. Okay. Loved all of those. Let's move on to moms and wives or AKA gifts that I want. Yeah. <laughs> this is, if you're looking to buy something for Amy, I think that Amy would vibe with pretty much everything on this list if she doesn't already have it. Let's start with a Jolie shower head. What is that? So I've been seeing a lot of ads for these. I did a little research and apparently our water is not helping us out. It's got chemicals and chlorine and other toxins that we could be filtering out to improve the quality of our skin and hair and everything. So the Jolie shower head is something that you can easily swap out in your home. So it's filtering the water. Correct. Okay, that's great because I did endorsements on the Bobby Bone Show for Culligan Water. So through that, oh, PTL, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> I got a whole home water filtration system. That's nice. Like as a trade. Mm-hmm. And it has been quite glorious. But I see this as a great alternative if that's not an option for you to just, yeah, replace your shower head and voila, filter that water. And yeah, healthier skin, healthier hair, all the things. Yeah, a great gift for someone that seemingly has everything that like they don't have a lot of needs. Like they, when they want something, they buy it, but this just isn't something that we would normally buy for ourselves. So I think it's a great gift for somebody that's hard to shop for. No, I think that's great. Next up is the Hatch Alarm Clock. I believe this model is called the Restore 2. I'll out myself here. My sleep habits, like my pre-going to bed rituals, need improvement. I'm on my phone. I'm checking my email. I'm screen time. Like I'm doing all the wrong things to help prepare myself for really restful, energizing sleep. And the Restore 2 is an alarm clock that has light and sound technology that kind of helps put you on a schedule to get your best sleep possible and, and wake up in a more gradual, soft way. Oh no, I'm a fan of Hatch. I even have one in my guest bedroom for guests is like a treat. Yeah. Can I come over? Yeah. (laughs) Next up, we have a wine chiller. I mean, self-explanatory, but it's like the thing that you need when you, it's summer and you want to take a bottle of wine outside, but you don't want to like prepare a whole cooler or you want to get spontaneous and go to the park and have a glass of rosé with your girlfriends. Like just a nice thing to have that is a grab and go and it can make your wine enjoying experience a little bit better. Trendy sneakers. You're going to see these on a couple of my gift guides because I just, I mean, I don't know about you, but my feet are done with heels. I'm not, I'm not doing it. If it's above a three inch heel, like I'm going to have to sit the entire night. I can't do it. These trendy sneakers you have on right now, because they're the Nike Air Force, but they have like safety pins pinned all in them. I would say these are a trendy sneaker. They're, oh, those aren't safety pins. Those are yeah. Nike swooshes. <laughs> they're little <laughs> silver Nike. They're, it's like jewelry for your shoe. They're the standard Nike Air Force Ones, but these specifically have some like little Nike jewels attached to them. Um, Sorry, my bad. I thought they were were safety pins. Okay, so trendy. You never know when you're going to need a safety pin. The Adidas Gazelles are some really cute ones. I have those on a couple of the gift guides and then another pair of Nikes. If you're you're just dipping your toe into the trendy sneaker world, you might want to go with something that has white, black, tan, like colors that are already in your wardrobe. So you don't feel like you're just like going too crazy with your footwear. Um, So did the the Adidas Gazelle, they just make a comeback? They did make a comeback. The ones that I've- good to know. The ones that I've flagged are sort of a platform. So they give that little lift, but they're still the fun colors, still the Adidas three stripe iconic design that we all grew up with. Oh, cute. Okay. I'm looking at the platform ones right now and they are so cute. 
I had no idea. Yeah. Red and white, teal and pink, lavender, like you name it. Pick your favorite color. I'm sure they have a variation that that incorporates that. Oh, yeah. They have so many fun colors. Okay. All right. Adding this to my list. Next up, the Aura Ring. Now, I don't personally have an Aura Ring. I'm still rolling with the Apple Watch. Well, our live studio audience left. I know. She Caitlin. had one. But Caitlin has one and she loves it. And my friend Cryocat wears hers every day and is obsessed with it. That is for sure on my list. So the Aura Ring does has a lot of the same functions as an Apple Watch. But instead of getting the dreaded Apple Watch tan that I know I have... It's just a ring that you wear on your finger. It tracks your sleep, tells you what you're doing good and what you need to work on in terms of getting the most rest. And it also helps you with your recovery. It reads things in your body that lets you know more than just how many steps you're taking and how many calories you're burning. Caitlin and Cryocat, they both have the gold one. I like the gold, but it comes in like black, rose gold, silver, chrome. You know, there's a bunch of options in terms of which finish you can choose for yourself. And then also on my list, Tati and I actually did this. Tati's my husband. We did this um, together maybe two years ago. If you don't have a Surlatob in your city, I'm sure there's other places you could do this, but it's a cooking class. So we picked a night in January to do it together. And I gave it to him on Christmas and we went and it was an interactive dinner where we learned new techniques and we made a dish that we'd never made before. And we did it with some friends and it was just the most fun little date night. I love that. Yeah. That, so that could be a couple's thing or a girlfriend's thing. Totally. Or a mother-daughter thing. Lots of options. What's up next? Okay. So lots more gifts for the mom, wife, girlfriend, daughter, whatever in your life um, that we'll link off to. But now we're going to move on to like the teenage girl, like the gifts that you want to get your daughter so your daughter knows that you're cool, (laughs) knows that you know what's cool and hip. I honestly designed this with Stashira in mind. So I think you're going to like a lot of this. Thank you. First off, personalized phone case from Bobble Bar. Super cute, comes in a variety of colors. You can get one with just their name on it or the ones that I've chosen is a smiley face that has their initials in place of the eyeballs. Another set of custom pouches like the Stony Clover. These are actually from Etsy though. Another item from Etsy, a custom claw clip. Claw clips are back. We're wearing our hair up. We're doing a little thing. We're doing half up, half down. And these have your name written in little rhinestones. You can pick your colors. And maybe it says your school name or maybe it says your last name, whatever you want. But a cute little custom claw clip that they can throw in their book bag. So cute. Yeah. This one is very popular. And honestly, I've used this and it's a lifesaver. It's a clip-on ring light if your daughter is really into like taking photos or making videos. Really, really helpful. Really improves the quality of the content. Trendy sneakers. We got them on here. The gazelles. Kids drink water too. I've got I've got the Simple Modern or or Stanley forty ounce tumbler. Stashira has a Yeti tumbler that she really likes. That's a bit a little bit smaller than mm-hmm. the Stanley one, and it's this really pretty red color. She was very excited. I think I got it for her, either for her birthday or last Christmas, but it was on her list. So yeah, they are all about the water bottles, which is great because I need her to drink more water. Yeah. And then lastly, and I think Sashira would really like this one, this is a custom LED neon sign. Now you could have this say anything you want, but I think it would be really cute decor for their room if it was just, you know, says Tashira and you can pick your color. It can be white. I think you can change the color out, pink, purple, red, whatever you want. But just like a super cute wall decor piece that's that's customized. Now, for some companies, it's definitely going to be too late for custom orders. But you could take these ideas and get a non-custom version of them and then save the custom options for an upcoming birthday or Christmas next year. And I feel like that something to keep in your back pocket. Because I mean, the hair clips are so great too. Those would make great stocking stuffers and some of these other gift ideas. You could roll them into, yeah, other times that you might need gifts, not just Christmas. Okay, Jackie, what about husbands, the men in our life, brothers? What are we getting the men? I got you. The VC Show. What's up? I'm Vince Carter, and my podcast, The VC Show, is coming back. Four on one up. Oh, Carter. Well, that's what they came to see. 
Season two of the VC show is going to be bigger and better than ever. Every week during the NBA season, I'll give you my real insights and opinions on the league. Oh, nice move by Carter! What? <laughs> yes, he <it> did! <laughs> I have a lot to talk about, and it won't always be basketball. If you listen to the show, you will get to know me, my life, and the things I care about. My family, friends, golf, music, and much more. Ben Saturday reigns supreme. Subscribe to the pod and listen to the VC show with me, Vince Carter, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Oh, it's, not, it's oh. over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! It's the VC show. More, 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 better. Hey, I'm Melissa Fumero, and I'm Stephanie Beatriz. You may know us from television. Nine, nine. And now we're here with our very own podcast, More Better with Stephanie and Melissa. We've known each other for thousands of years. And we've been through it all together. And we are totally killing it. We are literally the best. No notes. <laughs> Life is great. <laughs> None of that was true. JK, JK. Join us on our excellent adventure as we take on topics like listening to yourself. There were a lot of red flags, and it did take me eight years to get mm-hmm, there, but mm-hmm. I got there. The challenge of self-care. This is important, because now you're about to be a mom of two kids. And making friends as an adult. We're going to share our struggles. Just white-knuckling through life, babe. We're going to speak to experts, and we're going to share everything we learn with you. Listen to More Better with Stephanie and Melissa as part of the Michael Duda Podcast Network, available on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Rachel Martin. You probably know how interview podcasts with famous people usually go, right? There's a host, a guest, and a light Q&A. On NPR's new podcast, Wild Card, we have ripped up the typical script. It's part existential deep dive and part game show. I ask actors, artists, and comedians to play a game using a special deck of cards to ask some of life's biggest questions. Listen to NPR's Wild Card on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Okay, Jackie, what about husbands, the men in our life, brothers? What are we getting the men? I got you. Trendy sneakers, they're back. (laughs) For guys, I would recommend a high top, and I wouldn't do any crazy colors unless you know your significant other, and that's their thing. But on here, I just have the Nike blazer, which is a white high top with some gray suede accents and a black check, like super simple, pretty much goes with everything, but just makes a T-shirt and jeans look really put together. I don't know if you saw, but Kim came out with skims for the guys. She, she did? hired a bunch of Fire Flames guys that play professional sports, and they modeled it all. And, I mean, if you own something from skims, you know that it is soft. My only skims are these crew socks, and I love them. They're my favorite. And I actually gifted them to—I gave Caitlin a pair last Christmas. I just threw them in with mm-hmm. stuff, and she was like, oh— this is amazing. These are my favorite. Because I think socks are something sometimes you don't want to buy for yourself, mm-hmm. especially a nice pair of socks. But A, I want to order more skims for myself. I just, it gets overwhelming when I go to the website because I, I want it all. Right. <laughs> and then sometimes it went through a season where everything was sold out. Mm-hmm. But I think we're out of that. We're restocked now. Yeah. Okay, so. when, I, when I've gone on recently, I can always get the color varieties and the sizes I want. Well, so um, what are the men wearing in skims? So they have some really soft t-shirts. They look high quality enough that you could wear them out in the world, but also could serve as an undershirt. They have boxer briefs, you know, just things that guys need. But I feel like Skims is a little bit intimidating for a guy to go to the website and order something. But if it's a gift, then they just get to receive the fruits of the benefits of the softness. So I love that. Um, We already spoke about the Aura Ring, also a great gift for men. Theragun, probably not a new concept, but also just a great gift for the guy in your life that's more active, does lifting, maybe he's a runner, somebody that's using their muscles a lot that needs a little bit of at-home relief. Theraguns are great. If there's one thing from this male dad boyfriend gift guide that you choose, this is the one I would go for. It's there's, These are called getaway houses. They have them within a few hours of most major cities. And they're these little communities of tiny homes that have everything you could ever need. The kitchen's built out. It has a big bed, a little dining area, a bathroom, a shower. You can drive right up to it, wheel in your little suitcase or your duffel bag or whatever you brought with you, a picnic table, a fire pit, 
pre-cut wood. I mean, I feel like the main thing that keeps people from getting out in nature and camping is the packing, like the inconvenience, the not knowing where you're going to go to the bathroom. And this solves all those problems. And it's just, it's a way to disconnect from your phone, connect with nature, connect with whoever you're going with, your significant other, your your daughter, your son, your best friend. And it's, it's just, it was just great. They have little card games, a little s'mores kit. They, they've honestly thought of everything. So I went and found it online. It's getaway.house is where you can find it. And it is so cute. I want to book a getaway. It says at getaway, we believe in making space for more free time An easy drive from the city. Our tiny cabins are your window into nature, giving you the wide open space you need to rest and rediscover the best part of you. What's in your cabin? Well, our tiny cabins have everything you need and nothing you don't. I love it. Okay. And then I'll just run through a couple of other quick ones. A couple of years ago, we got a seasoning pack like it was like multiple seasonings for different kinds of things and it told you exactly what to use them on like this one's for beef this one's for chicken this one's for fish this one's for a Mediterranean vibe we loved it it allowed us to go outside the box with how we were preparing our meals and it just was fun and we blew through them and it was one of the best gifts gifts I've received in the last couple of years Domino's have you ever played Domino's it's been, mean, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's I, so fun. I play a uh, spinner, Spinner's which is good. similar. I love spinners. This The one that I added specifically is Mexican train dominoes. During the pandemic, we got back on the domino train. Caroline Hobby, I actually played our mutual friend, played at her house with her and her husband, and I was hooked immediately. Like before I even got up from the table, I was on Amazon ordering myself a set of these dominoes because... It was so fun, such a great game to play with friends or just a night in to instead of watching a movie or doing a show or something on the screens. I feel like any kind of game night is... I love a game. It's elevated friend time, family time. Like it takes things to the next level. Yeah. I love a good movie, don't get me wrong, or watching something that I'm all about. But maybe you could also try to be intentional about doing both. Like, hey, we're going to play this game and then we'll watch a movie. Sometimes you have to plan ahead to be like, okay, we, we need to play more games. Yeah. Games are nice because they also allow time for connection and and talking about things that are not the game. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Another gift that I got for my husband a couple of years ago that we've used and we've loved is a projector and the projector screen. So these projectors are so savvy these days. You can literally cast your movie from Amazon or your, whatever you're watching on Netflix or Maybe there's multiple games going on and you want to watch football outside. It's a beautiful day. It feels like camping in your backyard, but you get to watch a movie and have like a little fireside situation. Well, I love that. But I'm going to rewind a second because we were talking about games and Mm -hmm. connection. And before we came up here to record, we were sitting downstairs, me, you and Caitlin, and we were doing like the cards where you get to know your friends or your partner. Skin Deep is a good Mm -hmm brand for that because they have all different kinds. I've talked about other ones before, but they have ones for couples. They have one for friendships. So you can order the different ones or that might even be a good gift for your partner or, you know, your girlfriends. They're skin deep for family. So you can order the ones that are appropriate for you. When I was listening to your podcast with Nicole Gallion, she had mentioned that she plays a game with her husband called We're Not Really Strangers. I'm obsessed with Nicole Galleon and anything she says, I will go and do and buy. So I immediately went on Amazon and checked them out. And very similar to what you were saying about Skin Deep. They have one for couples that are dating, one for married couples, a family version, just little card games that have prompts that help you connect with whoever you're playing with. Ooh, okay. And lastly, for the guys in your life, a great player of Ugg slippers. I mean, guys just don't spend money on themselves for little things like that that are just like cozy at home elevators in terms of like elevating your comfort so a great thing to get them that makes they, it, the ugg slippers will last so long so it's, they will wear those until the soles are just gone mm-hmm. and they'll be wearing their comfy skims and they'll be in their ugg slippers and, and they're gonna look so hot the epitome of comfort yeah <laughs> you're gonna be camping with them and you're gonna be like <laughs> you're at your getaway cabin yeah and something that may fall under guys too but honestly this could be for the whole fam would be a Marlo pillow, like a good pillow. The Marlo is my favorite because it's adjustable with zippers to fit your preferred firmness or plushness. And the link will be in the show notes, but 
I have it as a part of the giveaway because it's so awesome. This is a pillow that I bought earlier this year. I kept seeing people post about it and then I ended up buying it and I thought, okay, well, I'm going to try this out and see if it's amazing as people say. And I have really loved it. And I love having them in my guest room because, you know, your guests can adjust it to whatever they like. And it's sort of just a nice treat to have in the guest room, which again, the Marlowe pillow is a part of the giveaway. So I guess this would be a good time for me to share with you how you can win our giveaway. All you got to do is send an email to four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com, put giveaway in the subject line and tell us your favorite Christmas movie. Yep. That's it. So easy. Four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com giveaway in the subject line. Tell us your favorite Christmas movie and you will be entered to win. Now, Jackie, I know you have more categories like stuff for kids too and other items that weren't mentioned. And your Instagram is a great way to get to everything because of the links in your bio, which Jackie's Instagram is at Jacqueline Caldwell underscore. It'll be linked in the show notes. So it's easy to find, but all you got to do is click the links in Jackie's bio. There's a shop my link, which things are clearly divided into all the different gift guide categories. And then there's an Amazon link that will take you to her gift guide over there, which there's so many ways, so many ways to find ideas. Thank you, Jackie, for all of these suggestions. Very grateful for you and the time that you put into this. And I know that listeners are going to be grateful when they get to go just click, 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 shop, shop, shop. And speaking of gratitude and being grateful, a four things gratitude journal is also a great gift for really anyone in your life. There's two color options and 100% of the proceeds go to education in Haiti through Project MetaShare. And you can hit up fourthings.com to see a lot of items there that benefit Haiti, but just specifically wanted to highlight the gratitude journal because it is such a thoughtful gift that you can give to a teenager or, you know, a best friend or a sister or a mom yeah, or I love a grandma. Mine. I love mine. I need to pick it back up, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things too, where there, it's not intimidating. You can practice gratitude every day of the week, or you can practice it once a week, or you can do it for a little bit, set it aside and then grab it back out. There's yeah. encouraging quotes throughout. There's prompts, there's stickers, there's recipes in the back that we threw in there. So it's a cute option if you're looking for something that is meaningful and that also has a give back component attached to it. And that's what we got for y'all. That's what we got. Ho, ho, ho. Happy shopping. But Jackie, say your Instagram handle one last time. At Jacqueline, J-A-C-L-Y-N, Caldwell, underscore. And I'm at Radio Amy. Again, everything will be linked. I hope y'all are having the day that you need to have. Bye. Bye. It's the VC Show. What's up? I'm Vince Carter, and my podcast, The VC Show, is coming back. Season two of The VC Show is going to be bigger and better than ever. Every week during the NBA season, I'll give you my real insights and opinions on the league. Supreme. Subscribe to the pod and listen to the VC show with me, Vince Carter, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's the VC show. More, 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 better. Hey, I'm Melissa Fumero. And I'm Stephanie Beatriz. You may know us from television. Nine, nine. And now we're here. With our very own podcast, More Better with Stephanie and Melissa. Join us as we take on topics like listening to yourself, the challenge of self-care, and making friends as an adult. We're going to share our struggles. We're going to speak to experts. And we're going to share everything we learn with you. Listen to More Better with Stephanie and Melissa on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Rachel Martin. You probably know how interview podcasts with famous people usually go, right? There's a host, a guest, and a light Q&A. On NPR's new podcast, Wild Card, we have ripped up the typical script. It's part existential deep dive and part game show. I ask actors, artists, and comedians to play a game using a special deck of cards to ask some of life's biggest questions. Listen to NPR's Wild Card on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts.